Well, hello there. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a good day. I got new glasses, so that's exciting. Oh yeah, so exciting. But yeah, I'm gonna get the game uh, started up here. And then I'll turn my start screen off and we'll play some Stardew Valley. Hooray! I didn't know if I was gonna stream this afternoon or if I was gonna stream tonight. But this afternoon looks like it is going to work out. So let's do that. Ba -da 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 Look at that. Oh, it's touching my game. Stop it. Stop touching my game. I'm getting situated. Uh, there's a face. Hi. No glasses. Woo. Hi, Dana. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you stopping by. We're going to load a game up here. And as soon as I get in there, I'm uh, going to turn the volume down because it's really loud for me anyway. I don't know if it's too loud for you, but... It's definitely way too loud for me. I'm just gonna kind of turn everything down, I think. There we go. All right. What's going on? How is our, do we have good fortune today? A little extra luck. All right, well maybe we'll go to the mine. Thanks, you like them? I got two pairs. I got these pair. They're like leopard pinky sort of thing. And then I got a plain, I got a plain black pair too. Just in case I wanted a plain pair. I don't know. I couldn't commit to just one pair, so. Hi, Pushy. Oh, you look fab, darling. Yes, but I appreciate you saying they look nice. I like them. I'm very happy with them. Hopefully, I, I stay happy with them. We'll see if they improve my gameplay at all. They won't. <laughs> I don't think they will. But they might. They might. But yeah, I'm glad you like them. It was really hard to, like shoes because they have so many different styles of glasses now i knew i wanted ones with like a slightly larger frame because today i didn't really do anything but other days i wear like i'll say pretty elaborate eyeshadow so i wanted to have something that uh you'd still be able to see my eyeshadow if I did something more crazy get in there you little potato all right so they said we we're gonna have a little bit of extra luck so I think we're probably gonna end up going to the mine today that's all specialty fish all right I did what I got for the crab pot what is that a carp or something catfish in the tiger trail I know those only show up when it's raining. Ocean fishies. What is that? Is that a sardine? Sardine. I probably have a sardine. Do I have a sardine? I do. So there's a sardine. And that's probably it. I know I can give them that mushroom. Let's give that to Gunther. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so we'll give the thing to Gunther. We'll go to the mines today, I suppose. But yeah, I, I couldn't decide if I was gonna stream tonight, like late later tonight, or this afternoon, and this afternoon just happened to work out. Maybe I'll stream twice. Maybe I'll stream late tonight too and play something else. I need to start um I need to start Bioshock Infinite. I keep saying I'm going to start, oops, I keep saying I'm going to start it and then I don't start it. But I do want to get that, I do want to get that going and then we'll play through that and I'll have all of the Bioshock games finished. So that'll be good. I will love you forever. Fuck you, Haley. Suck. 
Haley a hoe. Stop that! No. Hi, Poisonous Honey. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank you. I don't know that I'm the best streamer. <laughs> I appreciate that you have a good time when you're here, though. What's been going on with you? I haven't seen you in a little bit. How are things? I hope they're good. I hope they're good and stuff. But yeah, we're not we're not doing we're not doing anything super crazy crazy today. I just want to play a little bit of Stardew and we'll hang out. And like I said, maybe I'll do another stream later on tonight. Very down. Oh, you're fine. I'm not worried about it. So people people come when they can come and they they don't when they can't. Never a big deal to me, and I totally understand. I haven't honestly been streaming as often as I usually do, just because I've been super, super busy lately. So you haven't really missed much, honestly, because I haven't been uh, I haven't been on as often as I used to be, just because I've been too busy. I need to stream more. I wish I had more free time. Are late. Yeah, say so we're about me. You and I. Oh, why am I in here? So you and I have a time difference. So it, it's much later in the day for you already. And when I do my like late streams for me, when it's like you know seven seven thirty, it's uh really really crazy early in the morning for you. So that's totally fine. Not a big deal. But yeah, I hope you're doing well. Said I appreciate you stopping by. Ugh, new glasses though. I'm pretty psyched about it. But I hope that they improve my vision. <laughs> and then maybe I play games a little bit better with my new glasses. <laughs> I won't. I'ma just tell you that right now. It won't happen. There will be zero improvement in my skills. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna do a little loop around because I wanna take this stuff that I don't need and just leave it at my farm and then I'm gonna go down into the mine. We'll see if we can progress in the mine a little bit. We are, you know, year one, start of spring. I just started this farm a little while ago. I was just playing it casually just as like Discord streams. I stream just in my Discord a decent amount if I just don't have time. Um, if I just don't have time to stream like a like a real stream, I'll just stream in my Discord just to play a game or whatever. Got nervous since you're checking for gender dysphoria with a doctor. Oh, gotcha. All right. You'll get it sorted out. I think that's something that's definitely going to be a, a process, you know. And you'll you'll figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and what you end up being comfortable with, and that is A-OK. -okay. No need to, you know, rush stuff or whatever. You you do whatever you gotta do, you know? Go by all pronouns. Yeah, just do whatever. Say it's it's whatever works for you at this point, you know, and then you'll you'll figure it out as you go along your journey of figuring things out of what you what you want to do and what you're comfortable with and that's fine everybody's gotta start somewhere huh plus i know that where you are isn't necessarily as easy to change things you know that it's a it's not as it's not as uh not as progressive with your, your situation and all that kind of stuff, but you'll get it sorted out. It'll be good. It will be fantabulous. Caps. I only just realized they're caps and not caps, but vault boys. Oh, you mean with my um, channel point redemption thing. Yeah. <laughs> I should switch it to caps. I have a little, a little caps, a little cap icon I can use because I have it as an emote. A uh, streamer friend of mine, uh, Hefe, he uh, made those little pictures for me so I could use them for emotes here. I need a better sword. The sword is butt. I saw you, crab. I see you, crab. 
I know the ladder was back there, but I want to get these uh, copper ores first, I think. Yeah, I should change them to caps. Because like I said, I can. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I'm, I'm very confident that you will get all your, all your stuff figured out. And then stuff will be, stuff will be easier for you, you know. We are definitely, I think, having a little bit of extra. Oops, that's not my sword. Oh my god, I got slammed. Get out of here. Hopefully we'll find a weapon down here. I think I messed up because usually I have my, I usually have my sword in the first spot and then the pick in the second spot. Watch, now I'll like remember to do it the correct way and screw up. Really? I don't know who the first streamer I watched or followed was, honestly. Cause I used to do stuff on YouTube. So I was do I was always doing way more stuff on YouTube than anywhere else. It might be um it might be Harv. I have a streamer friend on YouTube, Mega Harv. He does he was doing Twitch occasionally, like um dual streaming, but I don't think I don't think he does anymore. I think he's just back to just just YouTube. Cause you're bored. <laughs> I mean, you could just tell them you want to leave and I'll come get you. You think that would work? All right. Come on, ladder, where you at? We only need to go down one more floor for it to save. But I don't want to run out of energy. Because I didn't bring anything to eat with me down here. N A X Ethan. N A X Ethan are your favorites? Yeah. What do they What do they play? Like a lot of a lot of different stuff. Like a variety. I usually try to do a variety. Well, you know that that I try to do like a variety of things. Ugh, there's nothing for me to eat. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna find this ladder. Crap. Can I eat this bug meat? No. Eat sap? Sure, what's that do? <laughs> it was worse! It made it worse! Alright, guess we're leaving. <laughs> Nintendo and indie games. I have so many indie games on my on my Steam account that I want to play. Or that I have played, but that I want to stream, and then I just like don't. There's a game called um, Lemon Cake that's really cute that I've been meaning to stream and then I just forget. Or even, uh, I used to play 60 Seconds and 60 Parsecs all the time. And I've just kind of, I just kind of fell out. I fell out of the indie games a little bit. I'm excited for Far Cry 6 to come out. I don't even know when it comes out though. I think it comes out in October maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. All right. Well, that was stinky. That's all. Can I water my cat? Watch me die. <laughs> Trying to water my cat. Story of my life. Where'd you go? I just saw you. Kitty. There you are. Get out of my rice fields, kitty. Meow, meow. All right, we can give that to Gunther. We'll give one of those to Gunther. I'll get rid of this stuff. And I have my one potato and my one parsnip. I still need my cauliflower and my bean. Neither of those grew yet. There's a cauliflower there. There's my bean. They're just not... You're just not grown. NA as NA result. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So like salt, salt X Ethan. That's pretty cool. Nox. Nax. 
Nax. Nax, Ethan. Bum, ba -da -da -da. Little extra luck. Well, that, that didn't serve me too well last time. Because uh, I never, I didn't find the thing. I should have brought some snacks with me. I don't really have anything. I have the, like, spring onions or whatever, and that's, like, it. I don't really have anything else. Hi, Doodlebug! Love the pics. Yay! I'm so glad you liked them. Yes, yes. This is the fun pair. The, like, leopardy cheetah print ones. And then, um, Nikki saw because I sent a picture and then I did put it up on Discord as well. But I also got a plain black pair. Um, so that if I wanted something that was easy to kind of go with everything. So I did get a plain black pair as well. But I'm so glad you like them. I can see. Kind of. Sort of. Enough. I can see enough. <laughs> Let's bring our fishing rod. Maybe we'll fish today. We have some, thi we have some things to do. Cody really likes the pair I'm wearing. Okay, yay! I like this one too. I put those pictures up on Discord and Sean texted me and he was like, I love your glasses. I was like, I love your face. Because I miss Sean. I haven't seen Sean forever. I'm hoping that uh, he and I can get together soon because I have presents for him from like his birthday because <laughs> I haven't seen him. -da 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 -da. I'm glad everybody likes them though. And thank you for saying that you like my hair. I need to uh, recolor it. I need to re-dye it. It's still pretty red though. I feel like they're a good prescription. I think they are, yes. So I know that I mentioned this to you before um, when I was talking to you about it when I had my appointment. So the prescription on them, it's not that strong of a prescription. I My eyes aren't like that bad. Um, and this new prescription, these are the first new glasses I've gotten in about 10 years because I'm lazy and I just didn't go to the eye doctor. Um, but the new prescription really isn't that different from my my old prescription like I thought that the the new ones would have to be way stronger like I thought my eyes got really like way worse um but they were like yeah it's really not it's really not that different so but I'm gonna try to wear them um more often than I wear my other ones I normally only wear my other ones when I'm driving that was the whole point of when I when I got glasses originally I got them when I got my driver's license um because I wanted to be able to drive. So I got them when I got my driver's license and they're just really not like that. They're re just really not that strong of a prescription. Um, but I'm gonna try to wear these ones more often because I'm a migraine getter. I get migraines pretty frequently. And I'm curious if partly that's because I don't wear my glasses 24 seven. And maybe I'm getting headaches more often because I'm having trouble seeing. So I'm going to try to wear them um, way more frequently and uh, try to wear them on the computer. I'm going to wear them to work, you know, see if it, see if it helps at all. I don't know. But yeah, I'm very happy with them. Honey. Oh, you're fine. You're fine with your channel points. Don't worry about it. Yeah, if I knew how to give them out, I'd give you some because you, you're you you're you're a long time channel friend. So I would definitely give you some. This did this to me yesterday where it like got all funky and it wouldn't let me donate properly to the museum. It got all weird. Ooh, a reward! Give me my reward. Thank you. Hi, Kodo! Ooh. How are you? How's Pokemon Red going? I keep missing your streams. Tell me about Pokemon. I need to know all about your Pokemon adventures. Oh, you're... D no. I know what you mean, though. It's, it's hard when you have a bunch of mental shit going on and you beat yourself up about it. And it's a, it's a, it's a struggle. So you'll you'll get everything all turned around though. It'll it'll be good. It'll be good. 
Uh, oops, wrong one. Ba, 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 da, da. Yeah, I'm hoping that I get less headaches. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. Watch my like eyeballs fall out of my head. Cause my brain is like, why you got these glasses? You can see too good now. Ooh. Well, hey, you're never bothering me. And I think, I think, are you in the, are you in the, are you in the Discord, Poisons Honey? I think you are. Say so if you're not, and you have Discord, you are more than welcome to chat with anybody in there that's, that's free to chat, for sure. Hundo percentio. Normally there's people in there all day on and off, so. Alright, we might as well plant these cauliflowers I think and then I'm gonna go fish up at the mountain lake I haven't I haven't really fished up there at all so let's go fish up at the mountain lake not in the discord you should join the discord if you feel like it obviously you know no no obligation or anything like that but there are almost always all times of the day people in there and there is a decent amount of people that I'm friendly with that are in there that also struggle with mental health things so there's, there's almost always somebody in there, um, that is, is available. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, even just, you know, say Nikki's in there all the time. You can always shoot her a DM, I'm sure. You know, even just a vent about whatever. We have a vent, I have a venting section in there. Just, uh... Nice, nice way to kind of be able to keep in touch with people and say hi. And if you have something that's bugging you, you can always message me or whoever else. Kadabra. Okay. Kadabra. <laughs> Just got the polka flute and then left hard with the casino. Gotcha. Yeah, because you guys are doing the tag team. So it's kind of, you know, you do a bit, then you do a bit. Yeah, say Lucian has a little channel on there too. Oh, it's a hundred percent. It is not a bother at all. Um, like I said, there's people in there all the time. And even if you just send something and somebody doesn't get back to you right away, somebody will, you know, I check it pretty frequently. I'm in there every single day unless I work. And then usually I'm in there in the morning and then I'm not, I'm not back again until later on, but there's usually always somebody in there and it honestly is not, not a bother, not annoying at all. No one will be bothered. Whoop. I say Nikki also has her own discord as well that has a lot of um, mental health like resources in there as well because she's posting, she has posted lots of links and stuff like that to those kind of things. Excuse me fish. Thanks. Oh yeah we need that for the thing. Some geodes. Hooray. Worry a lot about being, oh no, no one is ever a bother in my discord ever. Like I have only ever had to, um, I've only ever had to remove two people from the discord and one was because they were being very inappropriate with like racial shit and stuff that I don't want in my discord. Um, so they were removed and the other person was removed for like safety reasons of other people in the discord is how I'll, I'll word that. But yeah, I've only ever had to remove two people. So literally no one cares. Like you can, you can do whatever, say whatever, say hi. And everybody's pretty chill. Oh no, go ahead, Nikki. I don't care at all. Yeah, definitely. I never, I have never felt like someone was a bother in my Discord or that they were like being annoying or anything like that. Because I like when people talk in the Discord. I like when people are chatty in the Discord. So go for it. Oh yeah, no, you're fine. You can go, feel free. It's like, I know I was saying you have lots of, um, links to articles and stuff like that, that are all very, that are mental health or oriented and that kind of thing. Cause it's something that you deal with all the time. So yes. In other exciting news besides my glasses, uh, my, I'm going to, we're going to a baseball game tomorrow. 
and um, my dad is throwing the first pitch out at the baseball game. Ah, oh, exciting! Who is excited? Me. <laughs> so it's gonna be like me, Lucian, my mom and dad are going, and then my sister-in-law is going uh, with my nephew. My brother isn't in town, unfortunately, <laughs> so he doesn't get to go. But it'll be good. We're going to have fun. I hope we get free food, but I don't think we will. <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe we'll get free nachos. So our baseball team isn't very good. <laughs> like our professional baseball team uh, kind of sucks ass where I live. They're awful. But the games are still usually fun to go to. Um, but the team itself is 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 not good. Um, but I played I played um, so, right slow pitch softball and fast pitch softball when I was younger. So like I enjoy going to the games because like I play I played it. But I totally understand why people say it's boring. Um, being at the stadium and being at the game is way more exciting than if you watch it on TV. I don't like to watch baseball on TV, like not even a little bit. I think it's really boring to watch it on TV, but I like to go to the games where like hockey, I'll watch it on TV. I'll watch it on the computer. I'll watch it in person. I'll watch it wherever. I'll go watch a high school hockey game. I don't care because I really like hockey. So that's like my sport of choice is, is ice hockey. But the games are way more fun if you go to the game versus if you try to watch it on TV. But also, I like to watch golf on TV, and people think golf is really boring. So, uh, I don't know. I played golf, too, though, so that's probably why. <laughs> go to a game sometime. We should go to a game sometime. I actually have not been to a game um since do you remember when me and you went to that game with the place that you used to work for and we went we were in those like box seats or whatever and neon trees was there and no one gave a shit that's the last time i went to a game <laughs> so whenever that was <laughs> whenever me and you went to that game that's the that's the last game that i went to getting to go despite yeah right uh me and my dad used to go all the time um when I was younger his one friend has season tickets uh so we used to go like really frequently um but uh the problem with going to the games now is that it's very expensive you know the tickets are expensive the concessions are very expensive you have to pay for parking and it's just like the prices of everything just goes is just astronomical how much that they charge for this crap you know I'm like I get it you know you're going to a sporting event but you'd think that because the team is so bad <laughs> it wouldn't cost as much but yeah it's it's gross it's it's gross how much it costs to go so that's one of the reasons that I don't go that often anymore but we sports stream. I mean, if I saw, if I had a capture card still, I would be streaming way more like retro, uh, retro games than I stream. Cause I love retro. I play, I play a lot, a lot of retro stuff just for myself. All right. So we need a sturgeon. I don't know that we can get the sturgeon yet. Yeah, we better get free nachos. Oh my god, Linus! Had a capture card too. Yeah, I would be playing all kinds of older stuff because, like, we collect retro consoles. So, you know, we have the N64. I have an uh, old, old in, in NES. We have a Super Nintendo. I have a Dreamcast. We have a Sega Genesis and a Sega CD and an Atari and, like, all this old stuff. Dad, back when we went and we got there, $20. Yeah, it's like $20 for nachos and a drink. It's gross. It's it's gross how much they how much they charge for shit. Oh, I love GameCube. I used to play GameCube all the time. 
Uh, the original Animal Crossing I played on GameCube. Uh, NHL Hits, Pikmin, Monkey Ball, Tiger Woods, PGA Tour, Crazy Taxi, Sonic Adventure. I loved GameCube. We had a GameCube when I was younger. Um, my brother took it somewhere. And um, I haven't seen it in like 20 years. I don't know where it went. He, like, took it to a friend's house and never brought it back. Want to finish your Truman series, you can start streaming Fable. Yes. I mean, you could just stream them both. I used, because you know that I always do a bunch of different stuff. Oh, Fallout Brotherhood Steel on PS2? I did not. I didn't get into Fallout um, until, uh, until Fallout 3 came out on Xbox 360. That was, like, when I got into Fallout, was when, um, when Fallout 3 came out in, like, when did that come out? 2008, I believe? That was when I, when I got into Fallout, was in, like, 2008 when Fallout 3 came out. Linus, he's stealing trash! He's a hobo! Wait! Don't lick my garbage. And Truman, basically done with everything. Uh, don't complete the challenge till he dies. And that's just a lot of boring gameplay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Is he even an elder yet? Are you allowed to age him up? Just age him up to an elder and then put the life expectancy on, like, negative a million. <laughs> don't know how to go about it. I mean, I would say maybe just play it, just play it in your free time because honestly, it's just going to be them doing every day, whatever, because you've done all the other goals for it. I would say just play it in your free time, um, until he's an elder. And then maybe once he's an elder, you could start streaming it again. Cause I know what you mean. It's just like, why bother playing this when it's just going to be him doing just normal everyday stuff and there isn't anything else to do like for the goal, you know? That's what I would do. I haven't gotten on just because of all the new updates to when you came to run like poo. Yeah, because you have a decent amount of mods and stuff that you play with. I never really have any issues with stuff when the game updates, uh, except for occasionally, sometimes my, um, some of my, um, some of my poses that I use uh, for like gallery stuff. Um, the poses won't work anymore if, uh, if stuff's been updated. Uh, I'm gonna take these with me and we'll get those opened. And then let's organize this. Oh, do I have anything I really wanna sell? Yeah, we'll sell that bullhead, I don't need it. We'll sell that garbage. The mole rat emote changed. The mole rat emote changed because I had some emotes um, like professionally made for me. I commissioned some. So I had um, a snuffles emote made and I had a new raid emote made as well. Just because I wanted to, I wanted to update stuff a little bit. Pretty redundant. Found last time you played off screen. Yeah, because it's just, it's just literally like regular playing. And if you're not invested in the family, you're kind of like, whatever, I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? You get more stuff to name Graham doesn't need you to update it. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that obviously that's, that's totally up to you. I didn't have any, any problems with my update, but like I said, well, you know, because I don't have, I don't use mods at all. So I didn't have any problems, but you know how that goes. Half the time, you know, nobody has problems. Like, I might not have any problems and everybody else does. Or I have tons of problems and other people don't. Because, you know, I had that one issue um, after updating where, remember, my gallery wouldn't work. And everything just had red X's in it. And then I had to screw around with a bunch of settings. And it was just a giant mess. I have kids, but since he's not having kids, to keep him busy until he's old. Yeah, you're just like, ugh. The only thing that I can think of that might make it interesting for you again is if you have them get a pet or if you, um, I don't know, killed the wife or if you, um, had him like switch careers or something like where so there was something else that you could build up towards or if you had him change his lifetime goal.
Because I've found that a lot of the times, if I have somebody, like, reach the top of their career, or if I have them, um, reach the top of their career, what was I going to say? Reach the top of their career, or reach their, like, lifetime ambition goal, I just get bored, and then I'm just like, meh. I don't, I don't care about this anymore. Can't kill the wave. That's the only way you can make sure he takes care of himself. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you have to use her to influence him to do things, because you can't control him. Yeah, I mean, it's at least, it's at least something you could try. Change his lifetime want, or, like I said, get a pet, have him change careers. Or you could start doing, um, like, add on a different challenge with him. Um, like, I don't know if you've seen people will do the, uh, do a challenge with their sims where they try to max out every single skill with them to have 10 skill and everything. Can't even have her influence, but it's a way to do something other than sit there and just watch him. Yeah, that's true. So what, were you only allowed to, were you only allowed to influence him to do things with the mom? Or am I just remembering it wrong? How does he like, how does Truman like his, uh, his sibling that's like 300 years younger than him? Because <laughs> that was one of the last things I remembered you doing with that was that you had, uh, you, you told his mom to have a baby. So like the elder woman had a baby. His skills for work, I had to be very creative and very patient. Yeah, because that's, that's like one of the only other things I can think of would be to try to make him max out all his skills or max out certain skills, something. Just to kind of change it up for you a little bit. Okay, so parents could influence him, but the wife isn't allowed to. Gotcha. So, because I thought, I thought I remembered the, you using the mom to like influence him to do homework and stuff like that. Blah, la la. Ha! Poop stone. I think it looks like a Hershey kiss. Can't remember if he's met the baby yet. Imagine being like 40. Yeah, and then your mom has a baby. It would be so weird. Of course. I guess I'll go do this one too. Hi, Slice. Welcome to the stream. Uh, new glasses are treating me good so far. We'll see. We'll see if they continue to treat me well or if I go blind. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that Slice has an ad running <laughs> so he doesn't know he's here. Ba -da 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 I'm debating if I want to stream again later. I might. I might stream twice today. Now it's doing that stupid thing again. It keeps doing this to me where after I put a couple of things in the museum, it like it's angry. Alright. Um, 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 let's... Let's go. We'll go the long way around. We'll go back to the farm. I want to see if I can give crab pot. Yeah, I can give the oyster. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll go back around. Yeah, the fabled double stream. Yeah, I couldn't decide if I wanted to stream this afternoon or tonight. And this afternoon, as of right now, worked out a lot better. I got to go over to my parents again tonight when my dad gets home from work um, to throw baseballs with him again. And then make dinner, eat dinner, clean up dinner, and I'll see where I'm at time-wise to see if uh, we have enough time to maybe stream later again tonight. If I do have time and I do stream like a second time and we stream tonight, um, I'm probably going to start Bioshock Infinite. I think. I think that's the plan. I'm probably going to start Bioshock Infinite. If we have time. 
Can't see chat history. Yeah, I wish that they did that too. That whenever you, whenever you first joined, you could at least see like the last ten messages or something, so you could kind of see who was here. All right. Uh, I don't want the seashells in here, so I'm gonna take those out. Take the seashells out. We'll put them with the fish. We can get rid of this, we can put this away, and I'm gonna eat this bread. No, no, don't throw it away. Stop, what are you doing? Eat the bread. Om nom nom nom. All right, put this guy away. Not that, give me that back. And we'll take the spring onions with us because I ran out of energy at the level nine in the mine, so I just missed being able to go to the stupid mine, like to level 10. A weird one who comes in is like, yeah, so hot dogs, am I right? Yeah, exactly. And everyone's complimenting your glasses. <laughs> yes. Just come in, you're like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's okay. Everyone's talking about how ugly I am. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, so t tomorrow will be, or today will be day three of me going over there to throw baseballs. So, I think he's just, I think he's just really nervous. You know, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to mess up. So I think he's, I think he's really nervous, but I think it'll be fine. I'm so sore from going over and doing it. Just because I, I haven't thrown a baseball in like 10 years. And then I've gone over there and been throwing ball with him the last couple of days so he can practice. So I'm sore. But I was surprised I didn't do worse since <laughs> so I haven't done it in so long. But I think it's just one of those things where like, you know, I played, I played softball slow pitch softball and fast pitch softball for so long it was just like riding a bicycle you know just got right right back into it it was fine but i'm i'm very sore just from not um not having thrown a ball in so long eat that horse radish eat it yeah i haven't i haven't done it in forever do i want that quartz <sighs> Uh, whatever. I really just want to get down to, to level 10 so that we can use the thing. Can you stop, please? And just die, you stupid slime. Yeah, I think it'll be good. We'll have fun. Oh, yeah. So I don't think, I don't, so like our games when I, cause even when I played for the school, cause I played fast pitch for the school for a couple of years and they just like, it might be different now, but they didn't really like advertise the, the girls softball games. They were just like, they didn't really say anything. Cause like the the guys games, the baseball games, and the football games are like, oh, make sure you show your school spirit. I'm doing the game, but the the girls stuff they never really said anything. And I don't remember. I don't think. I don't think we were when I played. Maybe we were. We were. They were like um, champs like all the time. You know, it wasn't like we were terrible. Yeah, they really didn't. It was all just like, you know, football, boys football, baseball, and, you know, like you said, lacrosse. And that was like it. That was all that they really like advertised ever. So like we won all the time. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like we were shitty. They just never, never really did much advertising of it. I don't know why. They just didn't. But yeah, we were we were pretty good, like with uh division championships and stuff like that. So it's not like we were really, really bad and they didn't want anybody to know about it. 
whatever. But, -na 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 but yeah, new glasses. I got new eyeballs. I'll have to wear the black pair too, and you guys can let me know which one you like better. These are my like fun pair. So I wanted a like, I wanted a fun pair and a plain pair. So these are the like more fun pair. I do like the black ones that I got a lot too. It's not like I don't like them. Cause I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have picked them if I didn't like them, but. All I knew going into my like um, eye exam or whatever was that I wanted, um, that I wanted larger frames and I wanted um, plastic frames. I didn't want metal ones. That was all, all I knew going into it. I'm a March band, never been to a school where the football team was a very good one. Supported the band and wished as well. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's a very, it's very different than, um, some other some other schools because it, it really is that like dynamic of you know the band actually gets like pumped up for the games you know they actually care because the team is good and the football team actually like cares about the band being there you know it's nice it was a it's a nice it's a it's a nice dynamic that's like a different di dynamic Cause it really is this thing of like, Hey, we really want the band to be there. And the band actually has a good time because they're cheering on a team. That's actually good. I don't think that I ever went to a football game though for our school. I may have gone to one my entire like time of of going to our our school i think i only went to one football game because i just like didn't care you know i did not have the school spirit <laughs> not even a little bit All right, let's get out of here. You like both pairs? Yes, picked very good. Hooray, hooray for me and my eyeballs. Remember it now? Yeah, it's like one of those things where at the time you're like, eh, whatever. I think it really is true though. Like. They're like, high school's the best years of your life. So when you're there, you're like, yeah, whatever, shut up. <laughs> now I'm just like, remember when we were in school and I didn't have to do anything and I didn't have to go to work or do anything. And now I'm like, I miss doing that. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I'm going to say Yadam. That might be wrong, but I very much appreciate you coming to the stream and I appreciate your follow and I hope you have a good time at this stream and any other streams you might stop by. But thank you so much. I do hope you have a good time with us today. Always like having new people swing on by. Oops, what am I doing? Yeah, it is. It's, 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 it really is like one of those things to me where you're at the time you're like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. And then you get old like me and you're like, I care. I miss it. <laughs> it was just nice to have that like bit of, I don't even know. It's just like that, that bit of I know exactly where I'm going to be and the time I'm going to be there and what I need to be doing. I, I really like the structure of it. You know, I miss the structure of it, I guess. Is a good, is a good way to, good way to put it is that I miss the structure. What just happened? That was weird. My game is like not digging me playing with a controller right now. <laughs> oh, 
Although there was no halftime for us that night. Yeah. If you didn't have to. One time a few years ago that you went and you weren't there for the team. Yeah, and then they weren't even there. That sucks. Yeah, I just liked, I liked the structure of it. Like, I need to be in this place at this time and these are the people that are going to be there and I know that this is what we're going to be doing. And I think you do, you do end up missing, like, seeing your friends every day because that's I think that's like one of the biggest differences is once you graduate you don't see those people like you think that you're gonna see them all the time but you you really you don't you know you just kind of don't like there's certain people that I see they will do the first try everyone okay we're going to the mines but yeah I think that was that was really the biggest difference honestly was you think that you think that it's not gonna like be that big a deal or whatever and then you realize like I don't ever see these people and you do occasionally like run into people and whatever but there's people that I was pretty friendly with in school that I never see I never talked to them never ran into them at some random thing Nothing. Nothing. And part of that is because I, like, I don't have Facebook. And if I did, I probably could, like, stay more connected with people. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't care enough. I can't remember if I watered that or not. So we'll just water it again. We're getting maintained. Yeah, it's true. Like, but there, there's people, there are people that I still see that I still talk to, you know, that kind of a thing. But there's also a lot of people that I don't. Don't see them. Don't see them. Don't talk to them. Don't necessarily miss seeing or talking to them. <laughs> but I definitely, but I don't. All right, we are going to mine again, I guess, because it's a good mine day. I'm gonna do our little loop around. Married someone who is old enough to be to be our dad. What? Really? It's just saw the other day someone I know, but wasn't close friends with. Well, now you have to tell me. I don't have my phone. It's in my phone's in the my phone's plugged in in the in the bedroom. Late, you were like, uh, well then. Oh, send it. Are you on? You're on your phone, right? Send it. Send it to me as like a DM on Discord, so I can open it now and look at it. <laughs> so I want to know who it is. Now I'm really curious. <laughs> like, who is it? I mean, you don't have to. You can always just text me, and I can see it later. I'm trying to think, like, I just don't, I don't run into people. Partly, probably because I never go anywhere. I ran into... I ran into a friend, Chris, at Sheets once, like, eight years ago. And then I actually waited on a, goal, a girl, Nicole... Um, at work not that long ago and recognized her right away and I was talking to her and she was very nice she was there with her kid and I don't know if it was her husband or a boyfriend or whatever but her kid and like a um a, a boyfriend husband whatever oh did you whis you whispered it to me no are you serious really Mmm. Mmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I like that. Did she, uh, did she look the same? As, like, when we were in school, did she look the same? Have to screenshot Instagram. Yeah, you're gonna have to, like, send me some, some details on that shit. 
That is not someone I... That is not who I would have, um... Who I would have ever guessed. Seems pretty creepy. I think they met online. Ooh. She looks slightly older, but don't we all? I mean, true. There's a few people that... Um... I randomly have found on Instagram and stuff, and I don't, I don't follow them or anything like that. But a few people that I've, I've like randomly encountered come across on Instagram, and I kind of creep on their page, and I'm like, you don't look like I thought you would. Ten years later, because I didn't go to our our reunion, our ten year reunion. I just didn't go. I don't care. Ba -da 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 -da. Young personality always liked people in the same age range. Yeah. I mean, I was never really, like, I, like you said, I, I was never close with her, really, at all. So, I'm definitely not, like, in the loop of it, I guess, with, with her. Or, like, her, her, she was one of those people, like, I knew for a long time because I went to school with them for a long time. But wasn't someone that I was overly friendly with or even had the same friend group of really if that makes sense like if we had a class together and she was the only person that I knew I'd be like cool we'll be like partners on this project or whatever but she was never somebody that I like would seek out to spend time with I guess like not she was never somebody that I would like call or something and be like hey let's hang out because we, uh, we, we did not run with, like, the same, the same group of people. Look, last time how old her husband was. I think he was born in 62. Born in 62? That makes him the same age as my mom. My dad, my dad was born in 52 and he's 69. Noice. He's 69. Yeah, so he's 15. He would be 59, 59 years old. Ooh. I mean, I'm not somebody that super cares about, like, certain age gaps. Because, like, my parents have almost a 12-year age gap. But that's a, a pretty big age gap. Because he's probably the same age as her dad. You know, like you're literally like you're literally with someone that's the same age as your parents. And that's kind of creepy. I don't know. I guess if you're happy, <laughs> that's like, go for it. <laughs> you know, like, who am I? Who am I to say? You know, that's like kind of, though. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. But that's like pushing it. Yeah, right? I don't know. Since they met online, I'm like, uh, yeah. And it's like, this is going to sound like I'm being really mean, but you'll know what I mean. She's not somebody that like, you would look at, you would look at her and be like, I'm the most, that's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I have to get her to go out with me. And I'm not saying that she's ugly or something. She's not. But this, she's not the kind of person that you would be like, oh my God, she's so unbelievably beautiful. I have to get this beautiful young girl to date me. Like, that's not the vibe that like you would get from her. She's just, she's nice. Like, she's not, I'm not, you know, she's not like, oh my god, what a hideous creature. But it's like, that's not the kind of vibe that she gives off, you know. Yeah, bully stream. <laughs> I'm mean. <laughs> yeah, that's like a little, that's definitely slightly off-putting. So it's with her, they for sure love her for her personality. Yeah, and it's like... It just, it makes it sound like I'm being such a bitch. It's like, that's not what I'm saying at all. She's pretty. Like, she's not unattractive or anything like that. And, like, I could give two shits. But with that situation, that's not, like... It makes it seem... 
more strange. I guess. But like I said, if they're happy, freaking go for it, dude. Like, what do I care? Don't let don't let your marrying an old man dreams be dreams. <laughs> But now I'm like thinking about it and I'm like, I would never, I would never go out with someone that was like that much older than me just because then they literally are like the same age as my mother. And that's kind of creepy. I don't know, man. It's a little creepy, a little creepy crew crew. Subtly shy girl. Yeah, she's very, she was always very quiet. Very quiet, subdued, um, not outgoing really at all. Like you can talk to her, like she's friendly and you can talk to her, but she isn't someone that's going to go out of her way to start a conversation with you. She's definitely somebody that you have to go up to her and start a conversation with her. She's not gonna go out of her way to uh, to talk to you. That's very strange. We'll have to talk about it later. I'm I'm now up on the gossip. <laughs> One of the reasons you like to be around her because she was like, yeah, she's just very. She was always very quiet, very shy. Where I'm like, hey, tell me all about your life. <laughs> and very I'm very boisterous and loud and like in your face but yeah she's not she was always nice I never had like a, a problem with her or anything but that's not anything that I would have ever expected um of her was it mean to gossip I'm sorry I tried to put it in, but I was like this is still bad I have to tell someone I know what you mean you gossip I don't care gossip away we're gonna we're gonna spill all of the fresh tea. <laughs> all right, uh, we got down to the next level. I guess we'll kill this bug and then get out of here. I need it to rain so we can get um, some of these other creatures here. Oh, there's a bunch of let's get this stuff get this ore. <laughs> Not the fresh tea. That's the good tea. Yeah, right? How long, do you know how long ago, um, how long ago that happened? Like, is this new business or is this something that happened a while ago and we just found out about it? Cause I'm never, I'm never up to date on people's business, you know? Cause I don't, I don't have Facebook. So Facebook, I think, is like the number one gossip thing if you're like trying to keep up with people that you know. Because if there if there's people if you're on Facebook and you follow people that you know IRL or people that you used to know, that's where all the fucking gossip is. It's all on Facebook, all of it. It's all on Facebook. Mm. Bum, bum. So, like, I'm never up to date because I don't have the Facebook. I don't have that there Facebook. All right. What do I want? That, that. Go away. Go away. We'll plant that rice, I guess. Sword. I don't think I've found any new... Oh, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not gonna work. Oh, you know what? I need to make a furnace. We'll make two furnaces. Why not? Not on Insta. May have been Facebook. Don't really grow on there much. Yeah, I mean, either way, 
I don't, uh, well, you know, I just don't, I don't really follow a lot of people that I know in, in real life. And if I do at this point, it's mostly people that I work with. Not really anybody that I would know from years ago. Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. Well, we are uh, not going to the mines today, so I guess we'll fish. And we might as well get some more iron bars going here. And by iron, I mean copper. Oh, poop. So the uh, the gypsy merchant lady is going to be here today, and I definitely don't have enough money to buy anything from her. I need to save up to get the backpack, too. I've been slacking on that. I think some of that rice is done. I guess it was Facebook. Was it? See, I was right. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I just never, I never, when I, when I did have one, which it's been 10 years probably, um, I wasn't really on there that much anyway. He <laughs> went looking. I just was never really on it that much. I had a MySpace. Does that count? MySpace is cool. Don't judge me. <laughs> MySpace counts. Yeah, I had a my I had a MySpace. I liked MySpace. I liked MySpace way better than Facebook. Cause MySpace you could like have music on your page and all that kind of crap. I got it at like the tail end though. I like just mi I missed the the MySpace hype, and then everybody was like, "Go to have a Facebook." I was like, "All right," and then everybody was like, "What are my plants on my farm?" And I was like, "Fuck your fucking farm! I don't care about your stupid Farmville." Stupid. Because that's all I got was invitations to water people's stupid plants. Come harvest my wheat. I don't want to. Yeah, I didn't think I'd have enough money for anything. But that was, like, mostly what I would get from people was, like, Can you come water my wheat for me? I guess so. I guess so. Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> ah. I'm debating if We should switch games and maybe do a little bit of American Truck Simulator. Cause I'm a, I'm a meaning to play that a little bit more too. So maybe at the end of this uh, in-game day, we'll switch to um, some ATS. Do a little trucking. Do a little trucky trucking. And then that way tonight, if I do stream, we'll start. Um, We'll start by a shotgun but I don't know if I'm going to. It's really, 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 really going to depend on how, um, how late the rest of my day ends up with dinner and stuff. Oh my God. I wonder if my new glasses will improve my driving in ATS at all. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe there'll be some new seashells or something for us down here. That like blows my mind. I'm going to tell my mom about that. And she's going to be like, ugh. <laughs> what did I tell her? Yeah, they're like the same age as you. She'll be like, ugh. Ugh. But yeah, about 5.30. So around an hour. I gotta head down to my parents. And then Din Din. <laughs> yeah, what I tell her, she'll be like, oh, ooh, 
Uh. <laughs> she will not be impressed. She will not be impressed. I can tell you that much. She might not even know what I'm talking about, though, when I tell her. No, nah, she probably will. Because she asks me, she's like, do you ever see people? And I'm like, no. She did know who I met when I told her uh, when I waited on another girl, Nikki, that we went to school with. She did know who I was talking about. But yeah, she she hung out with a, a different a different crew than I did. Because uh, most of my friends were a year ahead of us. So when they graduated, I was like totally screwed. Because <laughs> everybody I was straight friends with left. Alrighty. Yeah, let's fish a bit. Tomorrow we're holding the egg. The egg festival sucks eggs. The egg festival and the like spring dance or whatever are definitely my like least my least favorite holidays in game ba, ba. Ba, da, 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 da. all right i guess we might as well give that artifact to what's his face and i'm going to sell some of this stuff make us a little bit of money. I want to get the backpack, so. We don't need that because we're going to fish. All right. Born in 57. My bad. I mean, that's still only two years younger than my mom. I think I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, 57? All right, my dad was 50, 52. My dad's 69. Noise. So he is 52, 57. That's five. He's 64. Uh, yeah, so he's 64. And how old are we? 32. That's like some in a coal shit. But, like I said, if they're happy, you know, you do you. I'm, I'm never, I'm never going to be one to say you shouldn't do that, you know? You do whatever you want. Maybe he's rich. <laughs> Maybe she's just in it for the money. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I've never, is he cute? Is he good looking? I don't know. What if it's like a weird arranged marriage? <laughs> like they sold her to him or something weird. It's just so strange to me. Like myself personally, I can't imagine dating someone that was 30 years older than me. What am I going to talk about with someone that's 30 years older than me? We wouldn't be able to, like, reminisce about childhood things or uh, high school things or anything like or anything like that. Yeah, that's not, like, what does he look like? Is he cute? Don't think he's handsome. He's somewhere between my dad and your pop. Okay. So... He looks older. He, like, visibly looks older than. Like, wrinkly, hairy, older man. Oh, God. <laughs> I just, like, I can't imagine myself going out with someone that's 30 years older than me. There's just no... I have no idea what I would have in common with someone that's that much older than I am. I don't know. There's got to be something. Maybe he has a giant wiener. <laughs> Maybe she's just into that. Maybe she has a weird daddy thing. 
And she wants to date somebody that's the same age as her dad because she has a weird daddy thing. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's like, she's a librarian, so maybe her kind of thinking is older. True. Why am I in no way surprised that she's a librarian either? Maybe it's a daddy. That's what you said. Maybe it's a daddy thing. <laughs> I'm. I am in no way surprised that she's a librarian. I'm a sexy librarian now that I got these new glasses. You love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. Just knowing her the little bit that I that I know her, not surprised at all. I love how this turned into some weird, like, talking shit stream, too. <laughs> it turned into a bully stream. Unintentional bully stream. <laughs> I can't show you guys because it would be too hard for me to, like, pick up or whatever, but... So, I got the cats new cat trees so they can hang out in here with me. Like, a small one. They used to have a little cardboard movie theater in here, and then Pepita, who's a douche waffle, ate it. And uh, then was really upset that he ruined it. And Mercury was really upset that it was ruined. So I got them this small little cat thing so they can sit next to me. Because I used to sit on this cardboard movie theater and hang out with me when I would stream and stuff. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Is it a good friend? Is it here? Fine. It's not really a bully stream. Yeah, like, that's what, that's what I, you know, I've been saying that the whole time we've been talking about it. If she's happy, go for it. Like, you do you. I'm not bothered. You do you. Maybe she, does she work with them? Maybe she works with them. And she, like, just, maybe has got a really nice personality. I don't know. Be like, oh, can you imagine? Oh, my God. Can you imagine, like, if they go out somewhere... Like let's, like, let's say they go to dinner for, like, uh, for, like, his birthday or something. And the, like, the, like, waiter is, like, oh, that's so nice of you to take your dad out for his birthday. <gasps> oh, I'd be mortified. They met online and then she moved out west to be with him. Oh, that's just, like, a little shady, bro. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It's none of my business. <laughs> they met online and it, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel slightly apprehensive about this. It's a little bit sus. It's a little sussy. I was being out to dinner with someone who doesn't know and says something. So my dad actually accidentally did something like that a long time ago so we had um some people came into the store all right and it was younger kids that were like under the age of 10 and then it was older people like older than my dad and like this was a while this was a while ago but these 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 this guy was older than my dad and was in the store with kids that were like under the age of 10. They were like maybe only five or six years old. And they were looking at some stuff and my dad was like, oh, that's so nice of your grandpa to take you out for the day to come look at cards. And it wasn't their grandpa, it was their dad. And he was like, like way old. And then my dad was like, oops. <laughs> so he thought that these kids dad was their grandpa because he was like old he was an old dude and my dad's an old dude so he like he knows about old people he's old but yeah he thought he thought that the dad was their grandpa and he was just like oops oh i just thought that we were grandkids because you're old <laughs> like i mean he didn't say that but i would be really embarrassed It's, it's super, I mean, he's not super old, but, like, my dad's older than a lot of my friends' dads because of his age difference with my mom. So, my mom is usually closer in age to my friends' parents than my dad is. 
because he's he's usually older. But yeah, he he thought that this these kids were out with their grandfather, and it was it was their dad. All right, so this day in game is finished, and I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna plant these rice, these little ricees that I got. And we are going to We are going to I have like yeah, that doesn't need to be in there. I'm gonna get some stuff set up to sell. I'm gonna plant this rice. I'm trying to remember how many out you can go. I don't remember exactly. There was like some flowers or something back here I wanna get. I'm gonna set up some stuff to sell it and then we're gonna switch. We're gonna play some ATS for a little bit. I should have enough time to maybe do a job or two. Maybe just one depending on how long they are. I want to get these flowers. I want to sell them. Because I need money. Because I want to get the backpack. Fishing is a good way to earn money, though. Maybe we have some fish. I did fish for a good bit. We have some fish I can sell. But yeah, we're going to switch. We're going to switch to ATS and play ATS for a little bit. All right. Uh, get that out. Put that away. That's gonna get turned into, what's his face? Put that stuff away and then sell that one. Okay, sell that, sell those, sell that, sell that. And what do we got here? Two bream, I can sell that one. Kitty, I love the kitty cat. Go to sleep, yeah. Here we go, got some money. Money, 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 money. Move to Kansas. Kansas? Kansas? Dorothy. <laughs> That's all I would say if I moved to frickin' Kansas. All right, let's get this set up here. Gotta change that up a little bit. All right, I'ma throw on thing for a minute here. Whoop. Just while I'm getting situated. Just while I'm getting situated, situated. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. So I got a follower and then I lost one. So I need to fix this because it's freaking messed up again. <laughs> Did you guys like my fake fart noise? Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Ba -da 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 Switching over to ATS for a little bit. Uh, we played Stardew for about an hour and a half, and now just this last little bit we have, we're gonna play some ATS. Hmm. 
I might stream again um, tonight, though. Alright, why are you being dumb? Why are you being dumb? But yeah, we're just we're just gonna truck for a little bit and then um I'm probably going to uh possibly stream again later tonight. Later later. Got work in an hour. Boo! Boo work! Work is stinky. I'm hoping I just like get fired. <laughs> so I don't have to work anymore. Um I know my game's not on. I'm waiting for it to do a thing and then I'll turn it on. Um, I might stream again late, late tonight though. Maybe like eight or eight thirty or something my time. And uh, la, 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 la. probably we'll start. Um, why are you being so dumb? There we go. There we go. Now I gotta fix it because it's the wrong size. <laughs> Here we go. Um, if I do stream again later tonight, uh, I'm probably going to start Bioshock Infinite. I think that's the plan. What am I doing? I'm doing a freight freight market job. I'm driving a reservoir tank to Hobbs, New Mexico. What the hell was I doing? Oh, I'm trying to get back to Tucson, and I didn't want to spend a million dollars fast traveling. That's what I was doing. Uh, it's freaking dark. Dark, bro. I'm just on the highway, I guess. Okay, let's go! I hope your shift goes well tonight, though. I know that you're doing those night shifts now. How are you, how are you liking the night shifts? You like them? You hate them? I used to work uh, graveyard night shifts when I worked at Denny's years ago. Um, are they still, are they done doing construction on your house, too? Because I know you were having construction done on your house. Also, also, let me know if you guys can hear the Twitch music that I have turned on. If you can, I'll turn it up a little bit. Don't work for banks. They suck. Yeah. I don't think I would be allowed to work for a bank because I'm so bad at math. They'd be like, mm-mm. No, no. You can't work here. Get out of my way! I'm changing lanes. Nope, not done yet. Boo! How much longer, um, how much longer till your stuff is done at the house? Because I know that's been really annoying for you, too, because you work till early in the morning on these night shifts, and then they're working on the construction, like, when you're trying to go to bed. That's annoying. Do you want me to come over and yell at them? I'll do it. I'll be like, hey, you need to finish this because Kaboom needs to take a nap and you're making that really difficult. Oh my God, we're going so fast. We're speeding. They are staining the stairs, so they'll be done Tuesday. Well, at least it's almost done, hopefully. You better move, cause I'm coming. Oh my God, you guys all freaking suck. Why are you driving like two miles an hour? Let's go, we're on the highway. I don't have time for you and your slowness. Slow people. Depends on the weather for how fast the stain dries. Yeah, because I guess if it's really humid, it's going to take longer to dry. Or if it's raining or something, they, like, can't do it. Or no, it's inside, right? Or are they working on, like, a deck or something outside? I don't remember if you said. If they were working, if they were working inside or outside. Because even if they're outside, that can still be really annoying. Tucson. That's where my garage is. I was just trying to get closer to Tucson because they added in this fast travel option, which I like, but you gotta pay for it, which is kind of annoying. You used to be able to fast travel back to just your, your garage. You could fast travel back to your garage normally for free. Now you have to pay for it and I don't like it. 
I don't like that I have to pay to go back to my own garage. It's kind of annoying. I want to switch our music to the dance party. That's what I wanted. The dance party station. Inside of the railings and banisters are being double stained. Ugh. Ugh. That's just annoying. Because, like, I know all you're trying to do is finish work or whatever and then go to bed. And as soon as you're trying to, you know, by the time you get home or finish working from home, eat something, relax for a little bit, and are trying to go to bed, they're there working on stuff. So you never get your a break, you know? You never get to, like, rest. That's really frustrating. Yeah, I worked, I worked those night shifts. I've worked those night shifts before when I worked at Denny's years ago. And I would work like 7 p.m. until 5 in the morning. Ugh. Being stained outside. They are standing the stairs, so it depends on the weather they're now. So it's like they're really starting to being stained outside. There we go. Stained outside. Okay. I can't read. I got new glasses. I still can't read. You can put new glasses on me. That doesn't mean it's going to improve my vision, apparently. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the dance party or not, but I can. And it's lovely. Ooh, the popo are up there. Now, why would you do that? Why would you be pulled over like that with the ass under your car in the middle of the road? Here it is. Very nice. Okay, good. No, still blind. I know. Still blind. <laughs> I'm also going to like try to ease myself into wearing them because I'm worried if I wear them too much that um, I'll give myself a headache by all of a sudden having different vision for super, super crazy long periods of time. So I'm going to wear them for the stream, obviously, and then I'll take them off for a little while and maybe I'll put them back on later. What are you guys doing this weekend? Anybody have anything fun coming up? Hours suck. They also don't pay, didn't pay you your premium last pay. Why not? Did they mess up on your paycheck or something? Were your cheaters for too long? Yeah, so I don't want to, I'm hoping that wearing, that having the new glasses will keep me from getting migraines as often, but I don't want to wear them too much and then give myself headaches wearing them too much since my vision is going to be better, if that makes sense. That probably doesn't make sense. Management treats some of the customers. Blah. Is there anything special? Code is taking out to dinner tomorrow before you guys go to school. Oh, that'd be nice. Where are you guys going? I haven't been out to a restaurant in quite a while. Yeah, you haven't. I know you haven't been too thrilled with this job kind of since you started it. It didn't, uh, it hasn't really been working out to be um, super what you wanted, you know, but it's not, it's not a bad thing to be on the lookout for something else, you know, keep what you got until you find something new. That's what I always say to people. They say they want to quit their job and I'm like, well, you got to line something else new up first, you know, 
a code knows and he's keeping the secret. Okay, so it might be a secret place. Need the money. So yeah, right, I say keep, keep what you got till you find something new and then it'll be a nice easy transition over to something else. You can, you know, put your two weeks in where you're at and start up something new and hopefully it'll be better. It's so many, so many places like there's, there's this weird like double-edged thing going on right now with jobs because so many people will say that they're hiring and a ton of people are applying and then I feel like they're not hiring people. Because I know people that have been like, oh, it's a, you know, so many places are hiring and I've been applying to all these jobs, but no one is calling me for interviews or anything. And it's like, well, what's going on? You know, you either need people really badly or you don't need people. It's, it's really confusing. Drive in my truck driving my truck I can bypass the way station fuck yeah I need to like take a nap soon I might need to pull over at a rest stop if we see one how much time do I have left for this delivery 22 hours yes we have time to rest There is one on this exit. So let's get off this exit here. Looks like we're gonna go to the right and then down to the end and make a left. Reroute. Yeah, reroute your mom. Freaking go, bro. I can't see jack crap. Alright, where is this, like, sleepy? Looks like it's down by the gas station. Oh, I think it's just in the gas station parking lot. kind of rule where semis have to have their headlights turned on if it's raining because time wise I shouldn't have to have them turned on because it's 1130 but I've gotten tickets before for not having them on in the rain so I'm gonna just leave them on jack crap worse than jack black I like jack black <laughs> now that being said I haven't seen like any of his newer movies I like tenacious D though Oh, all right. Fuck you then. Pull out right in front of me like that. Frickin' rude. But yeah, I don't have anything super crazy, crazy going on except the baseball game stuff tomorrow. So that'll be exciting. It'll be good, hopefully. I think we'll have a good time. But yeah, I just wanna, I wanna finish this delivery and I'm trying to make my way back to Tucson. 
to my garage because I want to get my trailer. And I just didn't want to, I didn't want to have to pay to fast travel. I was like, well, I might as well try to just make my way back there and make some money instead of paying to fast travel. Watched School of Rock the other night. I don't think I've ever seen School of Rock. Or if I did, it was just like one time a really long time ago. We watched, we watched two movies last night, actually, like after dinner. We watched uh, Night at the Roxbury and Superstar. Uh, Lucian hadn't seen either of them. And they're two of my favorites. Because I like kind of shitty comedy. And they both have Will Ferrell. And he's my favorite. Will Ferrell is my, um... You know how sometimes people have, like, a, a celebrity, like... If you ever meet this celebrity, uh, you're allowed to hang out with them. Kind of a thing. Like, if you're in a relationship or whatever. And they're like, oh, who's your, who's your, your, like, pass? Your celebrity pass? And mine is Will Ferrell. <laughs> was supposed to go to your aunt's today, but work happened. Work is stinky. I don't like working. I'm lazy. I didn't mess his back because it would have been asleep this time of slot. Oh, you're fine. I figured as much. I figured you were busy doing wedding stuff or whatever. And I was like, eh, whatever. She'll see it when she sees it. Da -da -da -da. That's like, I'm still just like, <gasps> about the thing you told me. My mom's going to be like, oh, scandalous. <laughs> I was at my aunt's the other day. My mom gave me some stuff to um, drop off at my aunt and uncle's house and she has a really big garden so she gave me like a ton of veggies when I was there and she gave me some chicken eggs from my cousin. My cousin and his wife have chickens. She gave me some eggs so I got some fresh, farm fresh chicky eggs. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Either, either really funny or really unfunny and everything he said. And no, in between. That's very fair. That's very fair. He's definitely a very polarizing person. So one of my favorite Will Ferrell, Ferrell movies is Stranger Than Fiction. It's actually like a... It's, I guess it's considered like a dark comedy because it does have stuff in it that's funny. But it's not like a super like goofy, goofy comedy. It's not like old school you know, or something like that, or Land of the Lost. It's like, it has a little bit more going on. And I think it's weird that I like it because it's kind of like a dark comedy, romantic comedy, and I am not into rom-com movies. I fucking hate love stories. Not into it at all. I hate chick flick movies. They're like, not my thing. Ugh, not interested, no thank you. But I really like that movie for some reason. Yeah, very scandalous. I didn't even get wedding stuff done yesterday. Free to call Graham in case she has stuff for you to do and you won't get it done again. Yeah. I don't understand why, like, she said that she needed stuff when Pop said that he went shopping. I just feel like they're, like, not, they're not on the same page, you know? Like, they both have their own little worlds going on. Still, like, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is all right. I like Bill Murray. I think it's just one of those movies I've seen like too many times, you know, but it looks good. Stranger Than Fiction. I love Stranger Than Fiction. That's like one of, like I said, that's, that's one of my, my top Will Ferrell movies, but I just also really like Will Ferrell. Thought of it because someone follow graphic, the screen that Nate followed me. Oh, Nate followed me. Is that, is that, oh, is that who Sly Hawk is? Is that Nate? I remember that his name was like Hawk something, but I didn't remember if that was him or not. Never. Yeah, you you would probably like you would probably like Stranger Than Fiction. Jake Gyllenhaal's sister Maggie Gyllenhaal is in it, and uh, who's the fucking other guy? I can't think of his name right now. 
He's like a big actor too. He's in a ton of shit. He's like an older guy. Uh, I love Anchorman. Go back to your house on Whore Island. Anchorman is like one of my faves too. I like Anchorman. I like Elf. Elf is fine. I'm not a Christmas person. I'm a Halloween person. But I like Elf. Elf is on my like list of the stuff. He was awful in The Office. See, I've never watched The Office. I've had multiple people tell me that I should watch it though because it doesn't have a laugh track and I might not hate it. But I don't know if I would want to watch the Ricky Gervais, like the British version, Ricky Gervais, like the original one, or if I would want to watch the Steve Carell one. I don't know. But yeah, I've had multiple people tell me I should give The Office a try because it doesn't have a laugh track. I don't like laugh tracks. Anything with a laugh track, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like laugh tracks. I don't like sitcoms. No. No, thank you. I have no interest in watching Friends or like Big Bang Theory. No, no thank you. Not for me. Not for me. I will laugh when I think it's funny. Don't try to tell me when it's funny, because guess what? It probably fucking isn't. It probably sucks ass. That's how I feel about it. What was he on The Office? Was he like a recurring a recurring character in The Office? Or was it just like a little bit thing like in one episode or something? Uh, American one is better, but the first season is very similar to the UK one. Okay. Cause I like, I like Ricky Gervais. So I figured I probably wouldn't hate it. But I'd imagine that the shows are like decently different just because of like country differences, you know? Where do you want this? No, I'm gonna skip that crap. It was like a replacement manager for three episodes. Okay, so he did like a little stint on it where he was around for a little bit. Gotcha. Actually. All right, we are, we're close enough to my garage now that it shouldn't be that expensive to travel there. Yeah, I'll spend $131. That's fine. I want my trailer back. One of my employees took my trailer like a hoe. trailer we'll just use my little trailer for now I guess oh thank you so much for your follow the twitch authority I very much appreciate it I hope you have a great time at the rest of this stream here and any of the future streams you might stop by but I super appreciate it and I hope you have a good time with us today all right what do we want to do I have my little trailer now I need to buy, uh, so I need to buy two trucks. You guys might be thinking, why do you need to buy two trucks? You don't need two trucks. You only have space for, for one truck. Well, uh, Corey has a Kenworth because for some reason I bought a Kenworth. I don't know why. I just, I bought one. I don't. I don't know why I just did. I bought a Kenworth. I want to have all Volvos. I really like my Volvo that I've been using. So I want to sell, I want to replace this Kenworth with a Volvo and getting rid of, um, get rid of this Kenworth, replace with a Volvo. And then I need to get a fifth 
driver and get them a Volvo. So I need to buy two trucks. But I don't know that I want to do that right this second. I've been seeing alerts for follows. Oh, they've been going off for me. I wonder if maybe there's just something weird going on with mobile. I don't know. Ooh, you know what? I wish I had my big trailer because I can't make as much money with my short trailer. Let's take these TVs. We'll start this job. I'm probably not going to be able to finish this job, but we'll start this job. So like I said, I got to go to my parents' house for a, a little bit here in a minute. Graphic on screen shows a new name. Oh yeah, it should. Uh, it should be showing up. Say they're going off. They're going off for me, but that doesn't mean anything. Also, you're fine. Cody called you. Oh, that's what. What? What did I? What did I ask before? Right before Cody called. Um. Oh, I asked if uh that Sly Hawk, if that was Nate, was what I asked. I think just right before you had to go. Is this my big boy trailer? Is it? Is this my big boy trailer? No, I have the short trailer. Corey's got my big trailer. What a wiener. Trailer thief. Damn it, stinky work. Boo, work! You can truck when you come home. I do you believe that's Nate? Okay. I thought I remembered his name was something with Hawk in it, but I couldn't remember. He is done at 6.30 today. And then, like I said, I'm going over to my parents' house in a little bit. Uh, the plan was to go over to my parents' house first and do that and then pick him up. Pretty sure that's him. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I mean, that's fine if he did. I'm not going to complain. How dare he follow me? How dare he? Woo. Yeah, this is my little trailer. And now I've gotten used to driving the big trailer and now I'm using the little trailer. It's always something with me. I actually prefer driving the smaller trailer, but obviously you make more money when you have the big trailer because you can fit more stuff in your truck. So I can't get those jobs now that pay $60,000 because I don't have a big enough trailer. So, we're probably gonna have to get our our trailer back off of Corey here. Ooh, hold on a minute. This job is better. It's farther, but that job is better. We'll take that job. Extra, yeah, it was a little bit of a rough morning over here today. Not not very good news on the wrestling front this morning, so everybody's been a little bit bummed out about that. Twitter's been going absolutely crazy with it, with this information. I mean, we kind of expected it, to be honest, just because he's been off. He's been off TV for over a month now. So we kind of expected that it was gonna happen, but he's like the biggest star in the company right now, so. Um, I would guess, honestly, it was a just contractual disagreements. That's usually what happens at this point is they uh, don't want to keep paying someone, so they release them so they don't have to, they don't want to extend their contract 
or a lot of people have been leaving lately because of not getting paid as much as they want or not being put on TV as much as they want. Um, they don't have the creative freedom that they want, so they decide to leave. A lot of people are speculating that uh, Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, Daniel Bryan, and CM Punk are all going to AEW. That's like word on the street. That's the rumor at the moment. So we will see. We will see. But yeah, a lot of it is like contractual. Um, contractual issues where people just aren't happy with their current contract and they decide they don't want to sign to a new one because they don't they're not going to get to do what they want to do or whatever and like I totally get that like if you want to be able to have characters be a way that you want or whatever and you can't like that sucks you know especially if you're somebody that's a very creative person and has a lot of ideas and you want to implement all these ideas and they just don't allow you to, that's super frustrating. That's really annoying. I would hate that, you know? He'll be, he'll be fine wherever he goes, you know? It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a big deal for him, I don't think. I think any of the other promotions are gonna be happy to have him, so. He'll be fine. He's not, um, he's not one of the guys that I, uh, would worry about being able to find work elsewhere. Some of the other people they've released, they're gonna have a harder time finding a new place to work for because either they aren't as talented as some of the other people or they weren't as interesting as some of the other people. Maybe they were older, so it's just harder for them to, to get signed on somewhere else, but he's not, he's not one of those people. He'll be fine anywhere he wants to go. Oh, yeah, there's lots of promotions. There's WWE, there's AEW, there's Impact, there's Ring of Honor. There's tons of places. Um, WWE is just the biggest. And they're the... They've been around... No, I don't know that they've been... They've probably been around the longest. Like, for the, ma for the mainstream ones, they've been around the longest. That have, like, caught on and been really popular, I guess. But they're, like, the... They were always like the place that everybody wanted to work for, but I don't think that that's so much the case anymore. Just because the company is so big, they have so many people signed at one time that you have less of a chance of being on TV and like breaking out and doing what you doing what you want to do, um, because they have so many people signed all the time. So some guys like to go to smaller promotions just because. Um, some guys like to go to smaller promotions because they're going to get more TV time and they're going to have more creative freedom. So it's not always a bad thing. Some people leave, they go somewhere else and they, they have a way better time or they're just happier. Um, and that's fine. You know, you got to do what you want to do. I'm so speeding right now. That's fine. Speeding through that construction zone. I think they couldn't do anything since they had some specific work set. Yeah, there's there's a lot of, um, there are a, a lot of different places for, for them to be able to go now. Back in the day, not so much. There really wasn't too much you could do. But now, even if you don't want to work for um, any of the main ones, like let's say you don't want to work for, you, you let's say WWE releases you and you don't want to go to AEW, you don't want to go to Impact, you don't want to go to Ring of Honor, you, you, you know, you, you don't want to do that. You can just work the indie circuit. A lot of guys do that now, too. They'll just work the indie circuit. They'll make their money, work the shows they want to work, wrestle, like, dream matches with people they want to work with, and just be, like, their own their own manager and, like, their own boss. So they can just kind of work where they want, when they want, and they're not tied down to one specific brand, and they can just do whatever. A lot of the older guys do that. You know, oh, maybe they, they really wanted to have a, a match against this guy, but that guy was never in the same company as them, so they never got to have a match with them. So they just go on the indies and they, they book matches and just do whatever. It's a good way to get to have those dream matches that you didn't get to have with certain people because you just weren't on the same, you weren't working for the same company. But yeah, it's not it's it's not like a it's not like a death sentence now if you get released because there's just so many other companies that you can work for. Now, 
I don't know pay wise how comparative all of them are gonna be to maybe what you were making money wise. AEW is probably comparable just because the guys that run that have unlimited amounts of fucking money. So that pay is gonna be pretty comparable, but I don't know if Impacts or Ring of Honors. Is TNA still a thing? I don't know if TNA is a thing still or not. Um, I don't know that theirs would be the same because they're smaller companies, but AEW, the price would be, would be pretty comparable, I would think. Yeah, right? We need a Ropo League acronym for Ropo Dog. It could be R R RPD Wrestling. Oh, I've been meaning to pick up, um, shit. What's the one we used to do at Harv's all the time? Fire Pro. I need to get a copy of Fire Pro so we can just have like wrestling, wrestling streams. I would love that. I think, wasn't Fire Pro only on PS4 though? Cause I have a PS4, but I don't have a capture card. So I wouldn't have a way to stream it, unfortunately. Is it this one? No, it's this one. <laughs> Just drive on the shoulder, it's fine. I would really like that. I would have a lot of fun with that if we did that. Did a did a silly little wrestling silly little wrestling streams. Tag belts and all that stuff. I love that when we when we used to do that over at Harv streams. Ultimate muscle for the game cubes in the wrestling game you like. Heard that. You don't want to, you mean you don't want to play, uh, you don't want to play freaking uh, WCW NWO Nitro on N64 with me? How dare you? How dare you not play that with me on N64? <laughs> but yeah, Fi Fire Pro is really fun because you can just literally set up your entire own wrestling league and then just let everybody wrestle each other and you could just do like fun um commentary over top of it that's what we used to do when har when harv would stream it he had like his own little harv wrestling mega harv wrestling and you would make your own characters and whatever and just do some fun shit and have your own little announcing and it was a good time phantom gamer just a fun stream where he announces matches yeah, so he does his own commentary. That's kind of what like I would want to do is to set it up and then just have my own commentary over top. I think that would be really fun. All right, but we are unfortunately at that time where I gotta go. So we're gonna go ahead and quit out here. And like I said, if I do end up having time tonight, I will do another stream tonight at maybe 7.30, 8 o'clock. Probably later than that. Probably like 8, 8.30. 8, 8.30 o'clock is more what we're, what we're gonna be looking at most likely. But I super appreciate everybody coming by today. I hope that you had a good time. I had a good time. Did you have a good time? I hope you did. Uh, let's go ahead and get my stuff uh, situated here. Well now, that's what I thought happened. So normally at the end of my streams, I go through and I thank people that followed and stuff, if they were new, if they were new people that followed, but both the people that followed today unfollowed already. How rude. How dare they? That's fine. But yeah, normally that's what I do, but I'm not going to do that now. But if you're new, hi, hello, how are you? I have a Discord. It's the best place to keep up with when I'm going to be streaming. 
Uh, like I said, might do a second stream later on tonight if I have time. It's going to depend on how the rest of my uh, shit goes for the day. But if I do, it'll be at like 8, 8.30, possibly later. And probably will play Bioshock Infinite, I think. Yeah, I think a lot of people do it because they, they want to see if you have alerts. I'm really not bothered, but normally that's what I do is I go through and I thank the new people that followed. But they're liars, so I'm not going to. And you know what? They can just... You just made the list! They made the list. The list of shit. And also this one. Shut up, bitch. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, probably 8.30, 9 o'clock-ish is if, if I'm going to stream, uh, that's when it will be... And we're probably going to start Bioshock Infinite, I think. Or maybe we'll play some more Fallout. I don't know. I'm having a good time with our um, our permadeath, Fallout 3 permadeath run, because we beat Operation Anchorage and I have the power armor now. So I think we have a kind of semi-decent chance of maybe finishing the entire game without dying. I don't know. That sounds pretty cocky, but I got new glasses, so I can deal with it. Oh, let's go on this. Ooh, you guys can see them. Yeah, can you see my eyeballs? Look at that. Oh, I can see. Aren't they cute? They're kind of like pink. They're kind of showing up a little bit more gray, but they're actually kind of pinkish colored with like the leopard. But yeah, have a good night, guys. I'll see ya, possibly. Oh, I don't know. So, um, bye, bye, bye. Goodbye. See you later tonight, possibly. Maybe, I don't know. If you hear weird noises, it's the cat being stupid and smelly. Smelly cat. Oh. Okay, bye. Until next time, this is Free Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth.